That was but a man. Then I tracked his mother and killed her too. His mother? She struck at me in the dark and I defended myself. But it was no hero's deed. Those poor souls. I shall pray for them tonight at Barking Abbey. Leaving already? I must. The bishop is eager for a full accounting of the Beast of East Anglia. Leave my name out of your tale. It is nothing to be remembered for. Understood. Perhaps it would work better as a song. I dabbled in verse as a youth. It may be time to lift the pen again. But what story shall I write? The full truth of this thing may be hard to fathom. Give them a comforting one about heroes and monsters. For the truth, the bone-cold truth of everything is often hard to take. It cuts like a cruel north wind on the neck. God saves us all, A4. I take my leave now. But we'll write to you once my poem is complete. Farewell. Thank you, and farewell to you too, Wolfhilda. Make it a good tale. Show me.
What do you see, Sunan? Stretch your wings, Sunan. Cast about this land, my friend. There. That's the statue the Senate's use.
I need your eyes, my friend. That lake goes deep. And what about father? Did you find him? This lake must serve as your father's grave now. But with this last gift, his memory survives. You mean... he drowned? <laughs> Where's the rest of your family? Mother got sick and never got better. And now she is under the ground. There is no one else. Rilda, remember? Father, sister, and Jorvik. Sell that trinket for food, then travel to your aunt. Your father would wish that. Interesting.
May you speed on to the All Father's Feast.
Have you got a contract? Not all. Sources say some manner of beat. The sooner you come back, the... What do you have today? Have you got a... I'm... Goodbye for... The Wolfka! So glad to see you. Triple Gate of London. I beg patience, all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? Nyanov. I 
Bear up, Master Ame. You'll be on your way shortly, huh? Something up a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> I can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? Who governs this burr? I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the governor Trigger. Good and fair Dane come to London four years back. Trigger? Aye, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa, <laughs> dealing with old manor and Avery. Stow! Avgus wants his cut of the summer harvest. Shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the hold up? We are talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgus wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. And if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it! Day once in a great while. I try not to kill anyone, eh? I'll wear your face as a skull cap stone. God in heaven, you fight like the devil stole in your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Rold, be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, was that it? I will have dealings with any who can deliver fair friendship with my Raven clan. If that is you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that rides easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stowe's my name. Stowe of Lunden. It is good to meet you, Reevestow. London sits on sturdy shoulders. Uh, to be fair, I'm not the only Reeve. There are two of us now, and the governor to boot. We do our best in these times, wild as they are. Take me to your governor, Stowe. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigo we go. And what can I call you? Humbler of thugs? Dane Hammer? I am Avo of the Raven Clan. We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Avo. You're a worthy ally. So, this is London, a city built by giants. So they say. She's an old place, as early as they come. But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. Learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Mundenweech. I was Saxon Burra, just past the Western Walls. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. I know, I was raised by them. And for a penniless bastard, I turned out pretty well. Drunk as Thor, Miss Alvon! As I was saying, <laughs> no, I oh, know I was raised by them, and for a penniless bastard, I turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless Reeve. Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, are me and a Dane-born soldier, Erke. Erke is an orphan of the last Viking horde put down in London for a season. Two or three years back now, it must have been. It's through Trigger I met Erke, and now we Reeves walk the city like parents looking after our children. A native son, and an imported Dane. 
See, London's a city built of many pieces. Wait. Something's wrong. Iron on the air. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? with the light of thy countenance visiteth and shines upon them. You no need for outsiders, Stowe. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, Stowe. It can't go on like... like this. You must be Erke, London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me second reeve? First, in the Eastborough, and a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Eivor. He came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with his clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man, and that got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder on the body there. I'll have a look around. The trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? This letter. Someone wanted us to see it. From Rome went an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erke, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of three such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. They must have been known to him. Well enough to get close without suspicion. Good and holy Christ, that could be most anyone. He governed this bird. It can't be head or foot, oh dear. What is it? Dirty notes from a mistress. Sorry. Mistresses? Treat this desk. Ah, oh, yes. The old man had a wandering hand. And I... I didn't know. I didn't think. He did Three sets of footprints leave. Two average and one massive. He didn't want you to. Do. Besides enough blood to paint the streets of painted bricks. A barber surgeon's tools. Sharp and precise for easy butchery. Must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. Do not end me this man's death. Hang on. There's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal? 
Nay, it looks Roman in origin. It must have been on a ladder he opened. It must have been significant to this guard for him to grasp it even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat. Probably as he read the letter. One of his guards grabbed the seal and tried to escape. He didn't make it. A second killer found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attacker took his eyes, then came for Trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This killer was a message. Their footprints leave together, three sets heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by Manicus. The leech, the arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baltersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise, until we know more. The Arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The leech hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic Temple. I passed it on the way here. Mithraic Temple? Is that a church? A church? Heavens, no. Mithras was a pagan idea. A so-called god beloved by the ancient soldiers that built this city. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? Ah, oh, well, now the locals have caught a whiff of this fatted mess. The temple is yours to explore, Eivor. It's to the east of here. I must wear my reef's face for a time. Keep away! Keep away! The fight is over. Town Hall will follow soon. Seems a good man. We'll trust his word. <gasps> Hello and welcome.
Nothing else? I must be on my way now. Goodbye.
waktu isi. It was our old child. Chef, we are not the hunt apartment, huh? <laughs>
nicht, dass der Akkul viel fram hier ist. Hold your heart, you lay on a matan party, speaking. 